Tell now they're finally out of the little paddock behind the barn. Anyways, it's just a quick video. I know I realize I've not done a video in a while. Stay tuned for an interview with my mother. As you can see, she's over there feeding. Right there. There's going to be an interview of her coming up. So stay tuned for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one. is an interview with my mother, one of the daughters of the original owners of Snow Farm, Kimberly Preston. So when you think of the farm, what comes to your mind? I think of my daddy uh, and him going over there to sit at the cattle every day. I think about the times that when he would start the truck at the house and by the time he got over in the field, the cattle would be meeting him at the gate before he even went through the gate to feed them. Um, I have a lot of good memories of the farm. Um, I can remember a lot of times that after supper, I would ride over there with mother and daddy because he always checked on the cattle twice a day. He would get up in the morning before he went to work even and go over there and check on them. Um, and then, actually, sometimes he would check on them three times a day. He used to work for the selective service system as well. And a lot of times, when he would come home for lunch, he would even go over there, you know, in his truck or get on his tractor and go over there and check on them. Um, I have a lot of memories of that farm growing up as a child and even as I've, you know, gotten older. The, the farm reminds me of both my mother and daddy. Uh, they were both hard workers and worked very hard to provide for us family, or well, to provide for the family. And uh, I also have some memories of a lot of times that he would have uh, calves to calve in the winter time. And I can remember work, walking over there, oh, it was, it was either January or February, big old snow on the ground, and that was back before cell phones. So mother wanted me to take some hot coffee over there to him because he'd been over there a while trying to help deliver a calf. And uh, just things like that just brings back so many memories. Very good memories, very good memories. And I'm just so thankful that me and my husband are able to keep the farm and hopefully carry on the tradition of SNO farms. Is there anything else you would like to say? I know SNO farms will never be back like it was, uh, but I hope that what we do with it, we would make my mother and daddy proud.